This is a tire on my Chevy Duramax. Um, it's leaking at the valve stem. I pump it up to 80 PSI, but it's set out on 30 PSI. I put some soap around the, the valve stem and um, I get bubbling right around the valve stem. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, replace the valve stem with uh, the one I got from eBay. I actually changed the tire uh, of my other rear wheel tire and I found out that these uh, valve, stems, valve stems are special uh, high pressure style valve stems. They're I think TR600 HP so that's what I'm going to replace it with. A TR600 HP. I got 10 of these for about 5 bucks. Not a bad deal. And I got it in about 3 days. The first thing I'm going to do is actually take the air out of the tires. The first thing I'm going to uh, be doing is take the valve core out. So I'll take the valve core out. This is the valve core I got. It's only like two bucks at a Walmart. The valve core should be red with a red O-ring. I think that means it's high pressure. Now I'm going to break the bead right by the uh, valve stem. I'm only going to break it in that one area. There's no need to break it elsewhere on the rim. All right, now I'm taking a tire iron to expose the bottom of the valve stem. Here it is right here. The question is, I've never done this before. The um, question is, how do I get the valve stem out? I think what I'm going to try to do is, is uh, take a screwdriver and just hit it with the hammer, hoping it'll pop out. Otherwise, uh, I think others have actually uh, cut it out. So I'm not sure if, not sure if uh, I could just hammer it out, but I'm going to give that a try. I don't think that's going to work. <sighs> well, I broke it. Now it'll probably come off easier. It just came off the, uh, I mean, I think it just broke off the base. Uh, here we go. That was a very smart move. I was hoping to actually save this for, for something, I don't know what. But. I can't get it up. I gotta get into the screwdriver. Or actually Phillips. 
Now hopefully they should pop out right here. I don't want it falling inside the tire. I found I found one of the caps at the uh, inside one of the tires I changed yesterday. So this should keep it from falling in. Oh, it comes off easy. The best way to do this is snap the top at the base and, uh, and then push it through. Here we go. And uh, this kept it from falling inside the tire, so this uh, Walmart bag. Clean the surface of this uh, valve stem hole and then I'll mount the new valve stem. All right, to mount the new valve stem, I could either use my four-way tire valve right here, four-way tire valve, not sure, or I could use the slime valve insertion tool. This gives me more leverage, but I'll try using this little cheap $2 valve core remover with a, a little puller in here. What I could do is I can take, this is my new valve. Take the valve cap off, insert this into the rim, and then put the valve, uh, the four-wheel valve tool, screw that into the valve stem and then pull up like that. If I don't have enough leverage, I'll use this tool right here. This gives me extra leverage. It makes it a lot, whole lot easier. And I think, you know, usually um, tire shops have this. They use this. Let me see if this would work first. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lubricate the uh, rubber so it actually slip in easier. I'm going to put some uh, dishwashing liquid in there or around it. All right, so I coated it with Dawn dishwashing liquid from the very top to the bottom because it's going to start uh, catching onto the rim right, right around the base at the very top. So luckily this is pretty easy. Uh, to get to the uh, the hole, so I'll put it in here. Obviously, it's difficult. I'm going to screw in my four four way valve tool, and I'm going to pull up. Oh, that was easy. I thought I would need this tool. I bought this tool, but I don't need it. This gives me extra leverage, but this four way valve tool is just good enough. You don't really need a whole lot of tools or a whole lot of pressure. If you have, I guess it's because I have lubri lubricant or dishwashing liquid, it helps it slide in. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let, me, let me give you a better view of this. So here it is right here. It's really easy to get to on a Duramax rim. It's a 16 inch stock Duramax rim. And uh, changing the valve stem on this is a lot easier than I thought. A lot easier. The hardest or the most time consuming thing is to jack up my truck and get this off the truck. And probably getting it back on the truck and then tightening it back to 140 foot pound for all the eight lug nuts. But basically changing the valve stem isn't too hard. I have on order some chrome valve stems, all metal, but this looks like it's pretty good. I have a valve core in here. I'm going to remove it to fill up the uh, uh, tire with air. I'm going to do that right now. So this is the old one. I'm going to take the valve core off of this new one. I think I'm expecting to see a, a red O-ring. 
because the uh, passenger car ones are black and I think the high pressure ones are red. Yep, it's red. So you got to make sure that these are red, unless I'm mistaken. Well, it could be. Then I'm going to fill. I'm going to seat the. Uh, I'm going to seat the uh, bead right now. Put the valve for it. 